Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you a game which is going to end in the most brilliant style. In this game we are going to witness one of the rarest moves in chess. Uh, this is a game played between two German chess players. Dragoslav Tomic is playing against Frank Winsbeck and this game is from 1993 Dortmund Open. With this being said, now let's go for the game. Tomic opened up with e4 to which Winsbeck answered with c5. The good old Sicilian defense is on the board, a sharp opening which usually leads to double-edged positions and in my videos we see this opening very often, right? Uh, meanwhile, against Sicilian Scheveningen, White goes for this classical setup and uh, we have castling king side by both sides, despite the fact that in this line white is castling king side, even so this can lead to a dangerous king side attack. Usually white is organizing a king side pawn push and in return with the d5 breakthrough for example, or in some cases e5, black is starting a counter attack and is trying to emphasize the fact that with pawn push white is exposing his uh, position too much. Already the threat was bishop b6, that's why black played rook d7, but anyways bishop b6 followed, queen b8, there we have it g4, and black is striking in the center with d5, g5 knight takes e4 knight takes e4, d takes e4, rook takes d7, an exchange on d7 is allowing to deflect black slide squared bishop and then win the pawn on e4, f5, bishop d3 and this time we have e5, very accurately with a very nice pawn push, black is managing to neutralize white's attack and all in all we have an equality on the board, h4, e4, bishop c4 check, king h8, bishop d4, this is a very important diagonal for this dark squared bishop, also the bishop on c4 uh, stands very well, it uh, it is controlling a very essential diagonal, thus restricting the movement of black king. And for example, h5, h6 can be a very nasty threat. It was in here that black made a mistake, played bishop c6, after which white is gaining advantage. Once again, since this bishop is very strong, it was high time to get rid of it with bishop b5. Uh, but instead we have bishop c6 and now let's see what's the problem with it. There came rook d1. Now if queen c8 for example, since right now the threat is bishop takes g7 check, uh, if for example you move away your queen from the d file then h5 can follow and then h6, black is in trouble. That's why black played bishop c5. This is something which is allowing black to trade off dark squared bishops, but even so, white is maintaining advantage, so after uh, several exchanges, white is now controlling the d file, and since this bishop is also very strong, now you will see, after g6, h6, white is keeping under control black king, uh, in the, the end game, as you know, the king is the best attacking piece, while in this case you can't activate it, while, white key, while on the other hand white can freely um, centralize his king, and yeah, this is something which gives white a winning position. All black can do is to wait for his death, meanwhile black is making random waiting moves, and in return white is intensifying the pressure. Rook e8, c4, rook b8, b3, bishop e8, a3, black is just waiting for his death, bishop d5, uh, b5, c5, now white is also getting a passed pawn, and then is starting to make use of it, c6. Here black found a very beautiful move, rook d8, uh, you can't win it because there will be a stalemate on the board, that's why to rook d8 white answered with c7, a very very nice idea of course, black was forced to play rook c8, uh, accepting the rook sacrifice could allow white to go for a pawn promotion, that's why we have rook c8, and there comes rook d8, rook takes d8 and now what? You have to be careful, 
going for a queen or rook promotion can end the game in a stalemate. That's why it was in here that white made a very accurate move and played c takes d8 and promoted his pawn to a bishop, the most accurate move in this position. Let me tell you that going for a knight promotion also wins, but yeah, this is something which is allowing white to win faster. Promotion to a knight you can see quite often in chess games while um, pro under promotion to a bishop is a rare thing, yes. Earlier I have already shared with you Aron Reshko Alek Kaminski game where again we saw an under promotion to a bishop in that game that move was the only winning move while well, in this case we had a choice but even so yeah still uh, this is a very nice move and of course deserves a huge attention and respect now the threat is bishop f6 checkmate and at this point uh, black resigned if for example bishop f7 then of course we won't win this bishop that will be a stalemate we have uh, too many choices we can first play bishop f6 check and then go for an exchange or we can play king d4 and yep yeah, this is how white can easily win that's why enough is enough after an under promotion to a bishop black resigned a very very nice finish and i'm sure you enjoyed this game as well feel free to share with your friends as well and in the end a chess puzzle uh, this position sent me one of my viewers, he said that it's from his game where uh, the task is to find the winning line for black. It's black to move uh, yes, and we'll wait for your answer in the comment section, black is winning. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video, take care.